Hi everybody, Diane here. And today I am back with some more tea information. And one of the videos that was requested I do was where do you buy some of the equipment that I use or that I've shown on other videos. So today I'm going to show you where you can buy those and it's not from me. We don't sell general merchandise online, only the teas and herbals. However, I have bought from these vendors on a wholesale basis and my in-store markup was just about what you would pay. You would pay me the same as basically what they're asking on their website. So uh, you can go directly to them. And I'm also going to show you how I personally make my cups of tea here at home. I think it's the easiest, fast, and best way, and it's really so simple, but it's up to you. If you enjoy a real process of tea and certain teapots, then, you know, it's all good. So let's get started. Okay, everybody, I will start with showing you how I do this. If you've already seen me do this a thousand times, I'm sorry, bear with me, but it's just so simple. Here's how I brew my tea. I, for eight ounces, take about a heaping teaspoon to a tablespoon, depending on the tea, and I will put that right into this insulated thermos brand, very, very sturdy and very well made uh, travel tumbler. And then, instead of measuring eight ounces of water, I simply guesstimate. And I usually come out around five or six ounces, just you have to, if you don't have the feel of it, just, you know, measure it out ahead of time. Now, this will brew for four minutes. This is a black tea, and I'm going to, during that time, tell you about some of these beautiful products and where you can find them. All right, so I have my timer going, and that will go off in four minutes, and I'll show you what I do next. And, by the way, I should have covered this, but making these sometimes... I have a lot on my mind and I got to bring the lid here. So I just cover it with the lid that I have here. Now, I'm going to read these and then they will come up as I'm reading them. And this is a company called For Life. And you can go to their website at For, F-O-R, Life, L-I-F-E, Design, D-E-S-I-G-N, dot com. For Life Design, dot com. And you will also see their products in a lot of tea retailers' websites because they're very good products. They sell very well in tea shops. We sold tons of these products. Now, I'm not going to, I've decided I'm not going to give you the prices on these. Just go there and you can get the prices from them. Sometimes you can find these on Amazon. They may be less or more on Amazon, but these are the four life products. Okay, so first we have the... And I do not use this, but the Cafe Press, and that is C-A-F-E-P-R-E-S-S. -E -E if you like to French press your tea, and if you also use coffee, um, this might be a real good choice for you. And most of these come in, I'm going to say, probably 10 colors that you can choose from on their website. So it's the Cafe Press, and it has a plunger that comes with it. Now this is pr the most expensive item that I'm going to be showing you. Next in line is called the Stump Pot. Now this was so, so popular in our retail stores. S-T-U-M-P, like the stump of a tree, Stump Pot. And when you go into Show More, I'll have links to all of these. You can just click on them. And so this um, is the ceramic teapot, and it also has the infuser basket that, that goes with that. The Stump Pot. Next, uh, I'm going to show you a fairly new product they offer called the Dew, like the Dew on the Grass, the Dew Cup. And this also has its own infuser and it comes in two sizes. Now when you go to their website, just go to the product list and click on or go follow the links in the show more on my video. So this Dew Cup has the infuser basket also that comes with it. And, um, I'm going to move now to what I am using here, which I absolutely love, this um, very small hold stainless steel infuser. It comes all by itself, and it also comes, I'm going to show it packaged as well, in a package. And so I use that just with any cup. You can use it with any cup, almost any teapot. It'll fit right into the thermos. Uh, it's beautiful. So that is the... 
um, the stainless steel infuser with the link. You can click on that. Now, the thermos itself, the thermos which I love, um, these are old ones that I've had for years, but they still have the stainless steel travel tumblers and I'm going to show a 16 ounce size in the link. And so again, you can get this in a multitude of, of colors. And why I love to use this is because it keeps the heat to the absolute perfect temperature. So when I put uh, the water in here, it's not, the temperature is not going to go down, which ensures me a perfect infusion. So I really love this method. So um, that is the thermos infuser. And there is my tea going off. So I think we've covered everything here. And let me show you what I do now. I just take the lid off. This tea is perfectly brewed. You can see I've just selected an 8 ounce cup from my own cover. I put that stainless steel infuser in and then I just pour the tea right through. Now, as you remember, I guesstimated how much water I need. So, and I just go like this to get it. See, there, there's absolutely, and then I put it right inside the thermos. And then I can just whack it into the garbage can and, and kind of rinse my thermos out quickly. But I've almost guesstimated this perfectly, but if you have a little that you need to fill, just fill it right with a little more hot water. Now see, that is to me the simplest way to brew a perfect, perfect cup of tea. Too hot to sip right now. So I'm going to double check again. We've gotten four or five options that I personally um, have used except for the cafe press. Now, there is one more and it is also an infuser which I have not used but my husband told me to tell you about this and that's the OXO, o -X -O, OXO brand infuser. Very inexpensive. They show it as $12.99 on their website. And so uh, here it is. This is the OXO infuser and I'll have a link to that in show more as well. Now let me take a little step very cautiously. absolutely perfect every time. So loose tea is such a simple thing and as we've all talked about before it's just so much better than bag tea. Well I hope you enjoyed seeing these infusers options and ways to brew your tea. There are many 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 more. Some people like to use clay pots. Uh, some people enjoy uh, oh gosh I mean there's just so many ways. I'm not even going to go into them. It's a whole other video. But I think for everyday use, brewing your tea here at home every day, this is just the simplest way, these ones that I've shown you, or using my method of the thermos and the stainless steel infuser from For Life. And you saw how simple it was. So it's really, I think it's simpler than a tea bag because the tea bag tastes terrible to me. And also then I've got a sloppy wet tea bag and I, I gotta throw that away anyway. So everybody, thanks so much for watching. I know that I took, you know, over a week to do this one, and I will try to get the next one out sooner. And so next time I will be talking more about tea recipes, anything to do with loose leaf teas and herbals. Have a wonderful week. If you're having terrible weather, stay safe, stay warm, drink good hot tea. It's great for you. And so we'll see you next time. Bye for now.